Hello guys and gals, and this is going to be an art, a craft video, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Um, the, I have no working title. Anyways, I found this marker set. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Looks like 10 colors. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah. And so let's do something with them. I'm not an artist or anything, but um, let's see. I'll just... Take some of these out. Oh, these are on special too. Clearance for a dollar fifty. These were um I I imagine. Or imagine. Okay, let me get all the markers out of here. I don't know how long I've had these, and I'm surprised they still work, but the black ones seem to work okay when I did the um lettering on um this. When I did the inking on um, that, which turned out, didn't turn out very good, but oh well. I had higher hopes for that, but I probably could have done something better online. Anyways, um, let's see. We need to start off with a um, grass line, I think. Um, should we use, we'll use light green for the grass line. Um, how... I don't think I can take the lid off with one hand. I'm glad they um, seal so tightly. That means that that's probably why they're still good after being so old. I don't know. I probably got these back when my mom was still alive, and that was over two years ago. See, so, let's see. Put the. I'm gonna put a grass line here. It doesn't need to be perfect. We'll put some hills in there too. Um. Okay. As always, put. Make sure you seal the markers up so they don't dry out. I think that we'll put a smiley sun. I, I, I always like the smiley sun. So let's, um, let's put, uh, the smiley sun. Okay. Okay, so the smiley sun. Let's see. It's going to be hard to see because yellow is such a bright color on here. Oh, and hey, it shows up on, it just it shows up just fine in the camera. I can't even see it. I'm actually going to have to use my phone to actually see this. There you go. Um, I think that I have an idea. We need to get some orange out. Oh, let's see. Smiley sun. Okay. Now, let's see. As always, there needs to be a tree. Um, where will we put the tree? I don't know. I mean, maybe over here. Maybe there's a tree right here. The bar, the trunk being brown, of course. And it's a rather large tree. Maybe it's a very, very old tree. I don't know. So we're going to put some little branches here. And it's got some little branches like this. Looks more like a cactus, but oh well. And maybe it goes on up, and then there's uh, some branches here. And then we go and we seal off these branches like this. I don't know. And then it just like abruptly ends up here. There we go. Now, it's a tree. Put a, um, maybe there's an animal living in it, so we'll put a hole right there. Maybe an owl lives in there. Who knows? Um, let's see. We need a green. Maybe a dark green for the leaves. Nice summer tree. There we go. So now we have our dark green. Let's, uh, maybe it's a spaceship. It looks more like a spaceship. I don't know what it is. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Let's see. We need some leaves here. Some, or some leaves. We'll put, uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll put, give it a crown. I used to draw trees like this. I don't know. You know, you just put like little cloudy things here. And then, uh, you just put it, and then like, um, have little, like little leaves right here. Of course, this looks more like an evergreen tree because it has pine needles. So maybe it is a hybrid tree. I don't know. Maybe it's an alien tree and it has both pine needles and leaves or something. I don't know. We could we just do something like this. I don't know. 
And then there's some greenage here and greenage along here. But they keep it trimmed, so it's like, there we go. That is one weird looking tree, but okay. Um, let's see, we do have black. We do, we'll need that for something else. Okay, I think this is black. Yeah, this is definitely black. Um, okay. And we're going to fill this in. Um, we're also going to put in some dark highlights here. Along the trunk. I don't know why, just, uh... Technically, the dark highlights probably should be brown, but oh well. We wanted them to stick out. There we go. Now, we have a, we have a neat looking tree. Sort of. Not really. Anyways, let's build a, let's put a house. Maybe there's a house near the tree. This is a massive tree. Maybe it's the freaking world tree. I don't know. Um, given how big it is, it's probably like the world tree or something. But anyways, it looks like we even have a hill here. I don't know. Maybe there's a house next to this hill. It is a very big hill, as you can see. And I would always draw houses really simple with the, uh, the simple shapes. It's uh, basically the standard way to draw a house. And there would always be two windows. And, um, oh, doorknob, of course. Can't get in if there's no doorknob. Unless you go through the window. But there aren't any ground floor windows. Okay, I, maybe there's an attic window. But anyways, we're going to switch colors. Red chimney. And we're going to put like little bricks. It's a brick chimney. Um, red smoke would look weird, so no. Um, however, a red car wouldn't. Um, okay, maybe there is a red car here. I don't know. Anyways, let's, um, oh, there's a, there's a hill here. Oh, well. Logic does not exactly apply this picture. Logic is overrated, I guess. Um, usually the cars I draw are angular and, like, really silly looking, but okay. Okay, this is wanting to move on me, and I don't want it to. Okay. Okay. There should be more of an angle here, but um, this is going to have to do. That is the roof of the car, and then we just extend it both ways. Um, front and the back, we put a little thing down like this, a thing like this. And then, um, put them in the little wheel wells. Let's see. Okay, the wheel wells. Okay, that is a terrible looking wheel well. Okay. Tires will be black, of course. And it's parked on a hill for some reason. I don't know. And, um... Okay. We'll put in... Okay, I don't even know which one... Okay, this must be the front. Because it's longer. I don't know. That's kind of the back, or else it's... The front is crumpled. I, I don't know. We'll put in a, a, a headlight here. I think that's a headlight. Anyways, let's um, switch colors. Got to add some Michelin brand tires. All tires are going to look the same, so I don't know. Um, I don't know how to draw hubcaps. So how about uh, we just don't put them in. We're just going to fill these in. Like... Lightly shade them like this. We got scribble hubcaps. There we go. Scribble caps. Okay. We're not quite done with the car. I need to switch colors again. It'd be nice if there's more than one shade of blue, but I think they only gave us one. That's fine. And so we are going to... This is always the interesting part. Um, try and figure out where the windows divide. Um... I think something like that. And the door goes there somewhere. I don't know. I think I draw cars like Homer Simpson. You know, in that one episode where he met his brother or his relative, he found. 
Anyways, and then the whole company went bankrupt. I think that I want to use pink for the door, just because it's lighter than the red. And so what we do is we just follow this down. And there's a door handle here. It's going to look like a doorknob. I don't know. Um, it needs more than one door, though, doesn't it? Of course it does. That's the back seat. Okay, well, we'll put this another door right here. I don't know. No clue what's going on here. I didn't even realize I was going to do this project until like five seconds before I made this video. So anyways, I have no idea what this picture is going to turn into. I think that we will use some highlights on the on the car, though. There we go. And then we're just going to do a little scribble shading. There we go. Um, okay, let's see. The sky is ra rather barren. Let's um, add some clouds. Clouds, um, can't go wrong with clouds. <laughs> and we're going to do some scribble clouds. The sun is happy even though it's, it's kind of cloudy out. Um, and we're just going to do some little scribble shading here. And there. Scribble shading. Um, I don't know if it needs anything else or not. Um, we still have half this to go. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. All that saliva went down the... <coughs> All my saliva went down the wrong pipe. That was bad. Okay, we need a TV aerial. They have antenna TV, not satellite, I guess. Or that's something like that. I don't know. That looks kind of like a TV antenna, I guess. I don't know. And we're going to put in, like, little um, shingles, I suppose. Uh, it's going to be like a pyramid, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we just do this, and then there's also siding. How exciting siding can be. Okay, we do this. We're using brown so that um, the black shows up. And that way if I get outside the lines, it's like, who cares? And the door is going to be brown anyway, so we're going to just scribble shade the door. There we go. Um, so that's the siding. They must be using aluminum siding. Anyways, um, let's see. Um, okay, I know what we need. Let's see. Okay, and, um, we're gonna put a lake here, I believe. There's a lake here. A circular lake. Um, we can put in some waves. Okay. And we'll put in a purple fish. We need to use purple for something. We might as well use it to make fish. I don't know exactly how to draw fish, to be honest. Uh, maybe like a gold fish or something, but it's purple. And then there's the fish tail here. Yes. Little fish scales, little fishy eye. There we go. Looks more like a bird. Okay, maybe it's a bird fish. Um, that's what happens when you pour toxic waste into your lake. You get birdfish. Yep. And we'll have an orange fish too, just because, hey, why not? And I'm going to try to try it better this way. Okay, yeah, there. Okay, now this is kind of a goldfish type thing. And then there's like little fish scales here, fish scales here. And we have an orange fish. Um... Maybe the fence around the lake. I don't really know how to do fences, but okay. Maybe a fence around the lake. Okay. Well, let's see what we got here. Um, I don't know how to draw a fence, to be honest. I think it's something like this. Except, like, repeated, like, five times or something, and then you just put, like, little things like this. Um, again, I don't know anything about perspective, so, uh, yeah. Uh, 
uh, kind of a restrictive fence. But I'm sure there's probably an opening somewhere. Or maybe people just fly over it. Maybe people fly in this universe. Who knows? Okay. Um, uh, there. And it's completely surrounded by a fence for some odd reason. No clue why. Probably better off drawing a dock or something, but anyways. So, it's a fish pond. A koi pond, I guess. Anyways, but for some reason they put a fence around it. Maybe to keep the toxic waste out. Okay. Um, anyways. And over here we have, um... Um, okay, I don't remember how to draw barrels, or containers of toxic waste, but, um... And, um, of course the barrels are leaking. Toxic waste. Into the pond. Of course, I mean, it's a story element now, so of course we have to do it. Okay, I have no idea how to draw barrels, so we're gonna just... Okay, it doesn't look anything like a barrel, but okay. Um, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, toxic waste. And um, for some reason, maybe they maybe that's a plutonium-powered car, and so the toxic waste is spilling into the lake. But anyways, um, <laughs> one more barrel. Maybe I can do a better job. Uh, nope. Uh, let's see. That... Just a scribble barrel. There, scribble barrel. There, scribble barrel. No clue. Anyways. So yeah, we have the toxic waste here. It is leaking from the barrels, and I uh, have no idea what's going on. So, let's um, finish this up with uh, something else. Let's put a little smoke coming out. Uh, Smoke must be fire in the fireplace because there's a little smoke curling up. And, um, yeah. That is the abomination. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on, so don't ask. Or ask anyways, because comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. But I have no idea what's going on here. Some weird tree, some house, some huge tree, rather. A pink car, um, a, a smiling sun. Oh, it's, it looks a lot like a Super Mario Maker level or something. I have no idea. This is why I should never be creative, because I have no idea what comes out of this head of mine. So, anyways, I don't know. Yeah, when toxic waste gets into your pond and you get end up with birdfish. I don't know. Anyways, well, that being said, I think I'm going to. Stop it. Well, wait. I do need to sign it. Oh, boy. Okay, we're gonna first of all do this. Oops. There. And that's that. What an abomination, but that's okay. It was fun. And these markers work fine. Just remember that Imagine is a good brand. Or I Imagine, or whatever they were. Because I've had these for practically years, and they still work just fine. Which is kind of amazing. I don't even know where I got them. I can't... Maybe it was, um... I don't know. But, these are good markers. Anyways, yep, I have no idea what's going on in this picture, but, um, okay, that's going to do it. If you actually like this picture, and I don't know why you would, then, um, like and subscribe, and, um, ring the bell so you know when I upload. Also, if you want to support me in any way, if you want to join the Discord server, all the information will be in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.